quite a topic to discuss today. But uh, before we discuss that, be sure you stick around to the end of the video. We have an announcement to come. Okay? Okay. So, something happened last Saturday. And if you uh, follow me on social media, and my handles are down in the description as always, uh, you already know what happened. So we were walking around in downtown Knoxville, and uh, we were holding hands, just being us, and we walked by this person. And Greg, you heard this comment. I'll let you tell this yeah, part. I, mean, I can't 100% say that it was about us, but it certainly felt that way. Um, but, I don't know, he was walking with his significant other or whatever, and said, uh, I never thought I'd live long enough to see this shit around here, or that shit around here. He didn't tell me about it. You didn't tell me about it, that is, until no. later that evening. No, because I, I knew you'd be angry and I didn't want to ruin our evening. So, And I, I was a little surprised that you didn't, you did, you didn't hear it. So. I'm, I'm not the best in the world when it comes to a hearing. I think sometimes I need to get my hearing checked, you know. But anyway, uh, this brings to mind the topic on a public display of affection. I mean, we, we're we not gross people when it comes to uh, PDA. I mean, we, we hold hands when we walk down the street. And uh, we feel comfortable in doing that. And uh, I know we got a comment. I have it pulled up here. Uh, Howard commented recently on one of our videos... Uh, do you guys normally hold hands when you walk down the street? My husband and I are not big on PDA. Even though we live in the ultra-liberal San Francisco Bay Area, we tend to be very discreet. Maybe it's a generational thing. And uh, I would say to that, Howard, uh, as I said b before in replying to the comment, that perhaps it is, but each couple is comfortable with what they're doing. If they're comfortable with not holding hands, that's fine. If they're comfortable with holding hands, that's fine too. And then and if and don't let other people dictate what you are and aren't comfortable with. That is the point. Now, when I posted about this on Twitter and Facebook, uh, I got lots of <coughs> messages of support. And uh, even from friends that aren't subscribed to this channel, and each and every comment was very much appreciated. But can, can you put yourself in the frame of mind, Greg, of someone who makes that sort of comment? I mean, uh, hating on us? I just, can't, I just can't imagine being that intolerant. I, I, it just, I can't fathom it. Neither can I. And, and I know that, that some of you out there have, have said before that uh, you're not exactly comfortable with the... PDA, you know, and I, I'm not going to debate that with you for a moment. I mean, either either you're comfortable with it or you're not comfortable with, with it. It doesn't mean you love a person any less, you know. It's it's not to it's not a reason to judge anybody. It's just we we feel comfortable in doing it because we we love each other so much that we feel like we want to be as normal as the next couple, you know. Because here's, here's what it boils down to, is that when, when you see people, straight couples, walking around holding hands all the time, you, you feel like, well, am I just like this couple? I mean, why can't I be just like this couple? Mm -hmm. You know, and you try to just fit into something that's normal, but yet other people have problems with it. Number one, I don't care, you know. I. Trust me, I'm not upset or anything about this. I do not care what they think. This is just a good topic of discussion. And I leave some comments down below on this. This discussion needs to be had. It's been had before. It's going to be had again. I'm going to tell you all a story real quick. And this goes back to if you've watched our 100th subscriber vlog. Uh, this is this is something you did not see on camera is that when we were in downtown Bristol uh, We did get in an argument Over over public display of affection. Yeah, I, I for some reason wasn't comfortable holding hands at that moment 
But why why was that? I guess I guess I just felt like where we were wasn't as accepting. Mind you, this is the area we grew up in. And that's why I felt that way. Because, and, because it was the area we grew up in, and I felt like I knew that area. And I got upset, and I'm still upset about that a little bit, that you would you would not feel comfortable. And I said I would protect you. There's nothing to worry about. I mean, who's going to try to start shit with us? And, we, and, and another thing, we hadn't been holding hands in public for that long at that point either. Now, mind you, we were just coming back from New York, and we'd been... Holding hands like crazy all week, on the street, on the subway, all sorts of things. I guess I was just used to it well, by that I mean, point. I mean, New York, who cares what anybody does in New York? But I, I, I didn't... Now, just for the record, I didn't force Greg to do it. I, I, respect, I respect his feelings just as much as he respects my feelings. So... Yeah, we got in an argument, and thankfully, you didn't see that on camera. We would, we would never... No, there's some things you will not see. I mean, arguments are never going to be seen, you know? Unless we're contestants on The Bachelor or something. <laughs> but, but you will notice yesterday, after I heard that comment, I, I, I just let it slide. I didn't let it affect me at all. And uh, he has a lot more nerves of steel than I do, because... As you probably well know, I'm the emotional one. <laughs> I wear my heart on my sleeve. And uh, I'm I'm a bit brash and impulsive sometimes. I freely admit that in any open court. Don't don't worry about how me being upset or anything about it, as I said before. I'm I'm okay with it. It's just people people have got to just grow up and realize that we're all moving forward, whether they like it or not, and we're not going back. It's, it's 2018. Yes, deal it's, with it. Yeah, deal with it. Really? I mean, come on. You know, the, the truth is we love each other, and we're not going to change to conform to any anyone's idea of society. And we're a strong couple, and we will remain a strong couple. Right? Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you, too. All right, so let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Let's have a discussion about this. Okay, before we run too long, let's get on to our announcement. This is, this is the fun part of the video. We are going to start a new series of videos on this channel next month in April of 2018. Uh, we, we're kind of still hashing out the details of what it's called and how it's going to work, but basically we're going to look at and we're playing off the fact of uh, that we enjoyed uh, doing stuff with the Oscars so much the Academy Awards that we're going to take a look at award-winning films and nominated films past and present and uh, just put it to a test and kind of gauge whether it was right or not you know whether they whether they got it right whether they picked the wrong film whether we thought something was better and uh, uh, I think we have a good idea what we're going to do first, and you come back next month and you'll see the first video. But uh, do you think it's an exciting prospect, Craig? Yeah, I think so. And we're not. It'll, it'll be, what, once a month? Yeah, it'll be one video a month. So uh, we'll post the first of those videos next month. And uh, to tell you the truth, uh, movies are in our blood. We love going to movies, we love watching movies here at home. And it gives us a good excuse to watch more movies. You know? And we love watching classic movies. I mean, the golden age of Hollywood is a very big interest of both of us. So, uh, we will uh, give you more details, possibly, as we get closer to the date. We're thinking somewhere around the middle of next month is where it will be as well. Uh, also, we another thing in the works is that we might have a trip to a theme park coming up soon. We're not going to tell you which one. It'll be a big surprise. Darn <coughs> it! Anyway, this nasty cough I have. You know, it's very, very bad. I'm getting the side eye. I guess we should end the video here. Yes, please, Greg, do the spiel. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell icon. 
so you can get notifications when we upload new videos. I've already said everything. <laughs> I refuse to talk anymore in this video because it seems like I talk too much as it is. We'll, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.